If perfect is the enemy of good, Senate Bill 5536 might just be good enough. It is our, our deep hope that this will help people away from the scourge of addiction, that it will reduce crime overall in our communities, and will help our children be safe from the scourge of drug addiction. A problem exacerbated by the pandemic, one muddled by a legal gray area in Washington state. Two years ago, in what's become known as the Blake decision, the state Supreme Court essentially threw out felony drug possession. Critics say that led to the misconception that drug use was legal. Hey, it's the police. A two year band aid making it a misdemeanor was supposed to serve as a stopgap until a legislative fix could be crafted. That fix was set to expire June 30th. Lawmakers couldn't reach a deal in the regular session. So when it ended, the governor called everyone back for a special session. Addiction is a really painful thing and it, and it forces mothers to stay away from their babies. After powerful testimony, lawmakers Tuesday passed a compromise drug possession bill years in the making. The new law emphasizes treatment first, considers drug possession a gross misdemeanor, and can mean up to 180 days in jail or even a year for some repeat offenders. I can look out my office window and I have seen people doing drugs outside my window, right on the backside of City Hall. Auburn Mayor Nancy Backus says she was hopeful, though wasn't waiting for lawmakers. She was among a handful of Washington cities that passed their own city ordinances, outlawing public drug use ahead of lawmakers in Olympia. I think the message is getting out. Uh, I'm appreciative of all of our legislators who were willing to come back to the special session. I think they heard from their communities loud and clear. Why did lawmakers agree on this version of the bill? The difference, there are no mandatory minimum sentences and there will be local control over needle exchanges and other so-called harm reduction measures. The bill also allocates $44 million to expand treatment options that include housing, crisis centers, and methadone units.